But um, what I usually do, I think, is just toss a grenade. And I wish I knew. I would spend time uh, looking for good cover. Let's see. And being more strategic about this, but I just don't have the patience. That's not really the way I play games. Uh, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. But I tend to be a trial and error type guy. Um, and plus, there's just a lot of random elements in Stalker that discourage any sort of strategic thought as well. Like homing grenades, for example. Okay, let's stop. All right, let's let's give an example of, for once, me being strategic. And I'm sure I'm gonna completely own the game and totally blow your minds. All right? So we got uh, we got some guys down here's 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 the here's the situation, guys. We got uh uh, uh some guys. <laughs> Down here, uh, in the drainage system, and uh, I got out the bridge. So, uh, let's just loop around and avoid them all together. Strategy. Behold, strategy. Avoid conflict when you're outnumbered. That is, I just, I told you. Is your mind, is your mind not blown? Is it not? Honestly, I mean, is it not? Tell me. Because, uh... I find what I did there completely mind-blowing. I might be a little bit biased. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there's really no strategic approach to that whatsoever um they force you out into the open there's no good cover uh everything metal and i still haven't looked into the science behind that i don't know if that's scientific at all based on evidence uh that metal retains if that was true why aren't the gates irradiated you know if metal retains radiation hey i don't know what they were going for there? What was just random stuff like those bins? Those metal bins are irradiated, <laughs> while nothing else metal. Tap. No oh, frame rate. Don't. Don't do me dirty. Frame rate. Do you guys see that? Do you guys just notice the skills of my character? He bandaged himself while reloading his shotgun. get a taste of those skills. Can you handle that? I love it when they do that. It looks like they're dodging, but they're just... Can I get through here? They're just... Um, they're just uh, glitching out on the surface of the environment. So I'm pretty sure this is the wrong way to... If I'm pretty sure, why am I doing it? I should really let my instincts take over here. My instincts are telling me to loop around, continue on around. I have played this game multiple times, so I should really follow my instincts. Alright, and my instincts are telling me to loop around. Because I think the access point is around the backside. They're just maximizing Huh. They're maximizing minimal space. I haven't thought about this before, but a lot of games do this. That's our exit point right there. Yeah. It may look like you can climb over that wreckage there. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. There must be a trick. Like a speedrunning trick. That's getting through here. I could just no clip. <laughs> uh, you can try that if you want to. I'm not going to waste your time, though. I uh, already wasted enough of your time by replaying a mission this episode or this session. 
So our access point is somewhere on the back side. Ah. No scope. No scope. Okay. Here it is. Now, oh, right. They have some some zombified guys in here. My instincts are telling me to go down here, so let's go down here. Let's get through here. And there's a ladder. Up, up, up. Come on now. Going up through here and across the walkway. Yes. <clears throat> and there's a document. It's a document. And this room that we have to pick up. Right? Is this what we're going for? I guess so. So, the underpass was filled with gas after it was sealed. Hmm. Hmm. This feels like end game to me. I know there's a bit more to go, but I'm really rocketing through this game. Alright, we got a Psy Hound in here. <clears throat> so with Psy Hounds, what you have to do is scope out the right one. There are a bunch of illusions that he will conjure up. I don't believe he's seen us yet, so... Kind of like a shell game, I just kept my... I kept my eye on the real one, but... There's another one, which is dead now. Great. So there are two in here. Yes, just uh, pay attention to the shell game of the Psy Hound. Let's go ahead and get the stash. I'm not sure why, but I never really saw that stash before. Maybe it had glitched through the ground at one point. Black box. Oh, the black box. Well, that's three kilograms I don't need to be carrying right there. So here is our next crash site. Rocketing through the main quest. The electronics are the same here, but the emission protection system is intact. What could have caused this? And I want to say there's nothing around here to loot, so... Let's just sprint. Let's just sprint out of here. You know, something I haven't been doing is detecting much, but with my current gear, um, I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe I can do any artifact hunting anyway. So, if you want to call it a challenge run, you can, but uh, it's just the way I normally play. I just rush through the game with garbage gear, doing the best I can. The entrance to the underpass is here. If we activate the generator, we'll be able to open the transportation lock. All right. And even though even though I'm rushing through the game, that's not to say that I don't appreciate uh, the atmosphere and the world of Stalker. It's just that I've played it. I've played it before, <laughs> several times. Yeah, I keep saying twice, at least twice, but honestly it's more like three or four times, probably. But I played a lot. Let's just just say that. I pumped a lot of hours into Stalker, so... It's, it's starting to get old, <laughs> you know? 
starts to get old after a while. You've seen everything the game has to offer after a bit. It's kind of like Skyrim or Oblivion or whatever. You know, you fall in love with the game for a while and its immersive atmosphere and world. Then you just, uh, you're, one day you're over it, you know? I'm just curious, there is a stash down here. I'm wondering if... if it's here yet. How does one get in here? Ah! Oh! Oh, God! I kind of feel like these these, uh, these anomalies in here should be more visible, once again, stuttering with rage. Ah! Why are they everywhere? Why are they everywhere, guys? Oh, it's still here. Am I still taking damage from that? That is crazy. That is craziness. Alright, uh, this is... yes. I would not know this was here had I not spent... just dumped hundreds of hours into the game. This is a Straylock stash, and Straylock is the guy from the first game. He's written a note to Ghost here. Saying that he's left some medical supplies. Obviously the med kit's here and the anti-rad. He trapped the mercenary who was on his tail. I, talking about uh, the guy from the second game. Clear sky that was tracking him down, I guess. He's going to meet Fang. Fang was working on the decoder, right? Yeah, just a, just a fun little stash here. Okay. We don't need that note. I think I am a bit irradiated, so I will pick up one of those vodkas. You know what, why not pick up the other two? I'll just leave the note, I don't need the note. But, uh, it's just a, just a fun little tidbit there. Ah, I <laughs> still got hit by one. I know I, yeah. I was, I was glad I found that. In one of my playthroughs, thought that was really cool. So, 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 we've got to go back and give the black box to the technician. And it looks like there are a couple of stashes there too. <clears throat> so let's go. Let's just go ahead and do that today, and that'll be the end of the session. But, um, I really don't have anything planned to say on the way back, so I think I'll just be quiet and we can enjoy the atmosphere <clears throat> and the world of Stalker. So I'll take one of these just to make the trip uh, a little bit more bearable so we don't run out of stamina all the time. And, uh, yeah. Just have a relaxing jog back.
Alright, looks like we're almost back here. Now, there were a couple of stashes. Nearby. Ah, there's one in the bush over here. Alright, what do we have? Well, it looks like another... Yeah, it's another 5.56 weapon. Let's hope it's in good enough shape. That I can sell it to the vendor because, you know, like I, like we discovered before, those weapons are fragile. They don't last very long. In that one battle with the bandits, that one broke down uh, two thirds of its total durability. You know, so. Oh, and that's... okay. We're not even going over there. That is... That is a stash that is unretrievable. So... Hello. So we picked up this. This, this, this. Let's see if it says anything about... its durability. It doesn't say anything about a durability. Excuse me. Okay. I, just, I don't know about this yet. This is one that I definitely don't want to use. Um. They don't last long enough in combat, so there we go. We'll sell that one at least. Uh, I kind of want to try this one out just to see how it does. Yeah, you know, we'll keep this one. See you. Yeah, we'll keep it. And I'll start next session with this weapon and just see how it goes. I'll put this away for now. It might disappoint me just like the other 5.56 weapons. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's take all the ammo for it. Go. We'll give it a, give it a shot. We'll give it a shot here. What kind of attachments can it use? Trigicon ACOG. Trigicon ACOG. Is this the Trigicon? Mm. Okay, this has a side on it, but I don't believe it's the Trigicon. It's the AC-11, right? The red dot sight. That's what that is. Okay. Okay. So we will give this a try. So now we need to drop off the Stop. black box. And once we do that, I want to say we're getting awfully close to the end game here. <laughs> He's just got to decrypt this. I think we then form a team to get through the tunnel. We go through the tunnel. And then we're in Pripyat. And that is the end game zone. So, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. And I think the journal says we have to wait for him to finish. Yes, finish decrypting it. Find the source of the, t of the charges which hit the two helicopters. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. We're almost uh we're almost finished here. What's this? So if we take a look at the map here, this is where we started. <clears throat> we progress down here, and this is where we're going. 
So for an open world game that feels much larger per zone, if you look at the map, it actually seems smaller to me than Shadow of Chernobyl. Because this is it. These three. Uh, the, the first one was more snake-like. It kind of traveled more north and south. And this is sort of a, sort of just a circle, you know, it's a circle. Yeah. More condensed, more compact, more compact area here. So it feels smaller. Heck, it might be a smaller game. It feels like a smaller game. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to end it there, and I'll see you next time. When we're... I don't know what we're going to do. I'll, I'll try to find something to do, but we have to wait for him. Maybe just sleep. I think maybe I'll just sleep and wait for him to decrypt the black box. That sounds like a good plan. And I may actually do that off screen. But uh, until then, guys. Later.